Amber Mack. I'm here at the Cantech Letter Investment Conference, and I'm here with Dr. Hamza. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about you and what your company does. Sure. My name is uh, Dr. Issam Hamza. I'm a family doctor over 25 years, been in business and technology much longer than that. Uh, really went into medicine with the idea of trying to transform uh, really an, uh, an old system that needed a lot of change. Uh, my first company I took public was called CloudMD and grew it from a very small company of uh, small clinics to uh, up to a valuation of close to six, seven hundred million dollars at one point. I uh, left that company about two and a half, three years ago. Uh, the one piece that was missing from that company was what, what treatment has and I was really excited at the end of last year to join treatment.com uh, AI as the CEO. And uh, what we have here with this company is something very, there's only a couple of handful of companies around the world that have this type of uh, technology. We think we have one of the better solutions. And it's really transforming the way healthcare is going to be delivered in the future, really aiding uh, as a tool uh, for practitioners, getting rid of a lot of the admin work, but also being able to diagnose, help diagnose patients with what they have in, in a very accurate way, and even uh, give tools to, this, to the doctor on what do they should do next in terms of lab tests, imaging, what treatment options based on up-to-date guidelines, and I'm sure we'll talk more about that in, in a second here. Let's talk a little bit about the, the state of healthcare right now, because uh, a lot of people are worried about the state of healthcare, and I think what we're seeing in terms of some emerging technology like artificial intelligence is just incredible results and the future of this industry looks so promising. Can you just kind of paint a picture before we talk a little bit further about treatment? It, it's what it's what really is exciting for me. I'm, like, Zen, like, like I said, I'm a family doctor, so I understand both sides of the equation here. Um, I understand the, kind of the pain of the, the patient the pain of the practitioner and the pain of the payer really the three P's are are all suffering under the current system it's very inefficient uh, it's very old systems in terms of usage of tech, uh, technology and digital health and so on and the reason it's so inefficient is that they're not adopting technology that's there right now to aid the uh, the different players in there. So for the patient, they're incredibly frustrated because they can't get access to doctors. There's not enough, supposedly not enough doctors. Uh, the doctors have uh, are frustrated because they're doing mostly admin work. You know, for every five, 10 minutes they spend with the patient, they're doing another 20 minutes or 30 minutes of paperwork and billing and everything else. And that's the reason they kind of retire early. They don't like doing that kind of stuff. And for the payer, it costs more and more as the, as the population is aging around the world and getting more complicated with chronic diseases and so on. So the solution is what we think is going to happen here in healthcare, even outside of our own company, and that is using AI tools to help triage and onboard patients and doing all the admin work for the practitioners so that number one, there'll be no more guessing on what a patient probably has. We, we, would, we will know between uh, you know, the diagnostic tools like ours and precision medicine and you know, diagnostic tests and so on. There'll be no more patients just showing up in a clinic or emergency room and we have no idea what they have or why they're there. Um, and so it'll be a lot more efficient in terms of when a doctor sees you, they know why they need to see you. They're seeing you to touch your belly or you know, to talk to you face to face. They don't have to type anymore and look at the screen. Uh, and they don't have to do any more paperwork so that they can actually focus on seeing more patients and helping more patients. And for the payer, it's, it's gonna save them millions of dollars, well, billions of dollars around the world. And the tools are there now and they're only getting better. It's really incredible to think about this future. When you look at treatment, you think about 2025. Yeah. What are some of the things that you want to accomplish in terms of actionable items? Yeah, so we've done a lot in already the year that we've been here. Uh, brought in an incredible exec team, changed uh, you know a lot of the back end uh, infrastructure of the technology so that it can, we can actually start commercializing our product. Uh, we raised money you know internally through family, friends, and close associates, and so on to this point and grown quite a bit in the last year. And now we're at the kind of inflection point for commercialization. And I think you're gonna see this with a lot of the, the stories you're gonna hear about is, can you make that amazing idea into some sort of commercial success? Can you actually get contracts? And, and I think over the next year, you're gonna start seeing that hopefully with our company. We've partnered with amazing 
uh, institutions and companies around the world, including the uh, University of Edinburgh uh, out of Scotland, who's working with us to bring in tools for long-term uh, healthcare in the UK with the NHS and around the world uh, as well. And so you're going to see a lot of those kind of tools, uh, a lot of those uh, tools coming to, to, to the market and commercial uh, contracts and revenue. And I think in the 2025, that's going to be the key point here. Excellent. Well, listen, thank you so much for joining me today and sitting down for this conversation. Yeah, thank you very much.